when I first read the script, I knew, I knew I really liked it. I knew this is something I really wanted to do. And then after having that that phone call from Andrew about the interspecies love affair and and the travel of Ian, um, it, it just sunk in even more. It was like it, it kind of put the pressure on a little more because it suddenly becomes something that you really like and you'd really like to do to something that you got to do and you would really love to do and and uh, you'd be heartbroken if you didn't get to. The host follows Melanie Strider or uh, Wanda as she's taken over uh, from Wanda's alien form and this is basically this sort of beautiful post-apocalyptic world that we live in because aliens have have made the earth so perfect in a way um, by taking us over and <laughs> essentially killing us for like uh, with the walking dead uh, but the group I'm a part of were what we believe to be the last pocket of human resistance, living in the mountains and surviving barely day to day um, in the hopes that we can come back and, and live to fight another day and take our world back. We've kind of coined it a love box because <laughs> there's really four of us involved. There's Jared, there's Ian, there's Wanda, and there's Melanie. It just so happens Wanda and Melanie are sharing a body, but they're two separate entities. Um, so this is our love box. and. Um, for me, not, no, I don't know, Ian doesn't know Melanie, so he's never met her before as Melanie, he's only met her as Wanda. Um, so there, there's, there's a lot of struggle between, between Jared and I, uh, played by Max. Uh, there's just definitely, our, our journey even travels a lot through this. There's times where we, we band together and there's times where we're absolute enemies because we're each fighting for this one, not even sole entity because there's two, there's two people trapped in one body. Um, and Search is, Search is uh, absolutely fantastic at it. Uh, her, the difference between Melanie and Wanda is, is, is so, so clear cut as two separate people. The most amazing part of it all is working with William Hurt and Francis Fisher, these two legends that uh, I've watched since I was young. I'm sure they would hate me saying that. But, um, but absolute legends and a thrill to, to get in the ring with them every day and learn something new. It's, it's a real treat. The sets are phenomenal. The interior cave, which was, was, which was in the soundstage, was massive. The first time you walk in, I, I won't forget my first reaction, I won't forget every person's reaction for the first time walking that stage. It's just this, you walk in and you're in awe. Your jaw drops. Um, I know the roof is CGI, but everything built up to that is completely real. And, um, it's, it's amazing what they can do. And the interior, the waterfall is another location where we had a blast. I couldn't believe it. It's, 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 these locations are uh, movie magic. People who are fans of her, of her previous books and films will easily can easily transfer into this, but I think it's also its own entity. It's something completely different. It's a different realm. Um, it's something that really hasn't been done before, and, uh, and that's exciting for us.